I'd like to introduce cavitation pinging using pulse laser and submerged water jet to improve fatigue strength of aluminum alloy. Normally, cavitation is impact are very harmful as the impact produces uh, severe damage in pumps and valves. However, cavitation impact can be utilized for mechanical surface treatment in the same way as short pinning. We call it cavitation pinning. Typical pinning is short pinning. Short pinning enhances fatigue properties by solid collision. However, in the case of short pinning, the surface became very rough. The advantage of cavitation pinning is that the pin surface is very smooth comparing with conventional short pinning because cavitation is bubble. In the present paper, cavitation is produced by a pulse laser. It calls laser cavitation. The process is very similar to submerged laser pinning. Actually, in our system, we enhance the bubble impact. We can see shock wave at bubble collapse. And also at bubble collapse, we can see the pressure wave in material by photoelasticity. This is our cavitation pinning system by using a pulse laser. The specimen was put in the water filled chamber and treated by pulse laser. We can also produce cavitation by injecting high-speed water jet into water. We call it cavitating jet. These white bubbles are cavitation bubbles. Cavitation is produced in shear layer and it became cloud cavitation. Cloud cavitation became a ring vortex cavitation on the target, then collapsed. The spar did not directly hit the target. Cavitation pinning is totally different from water jet pinning. At water jet pinning, droplet impact is used. Pinning intensity of water jet pinning is increased with injection pressure. On the other hand, cavitation pinning has a maximum at certain pressure at constant downstream pressure. Cavitation pinning is more effective than water jet pinning. At the present experiment, two cavitating jets were injected at the same time. We can treat the inside in the tube. The fatigue properties of aluminum alloy was evaluated by displacement controlled frame bending fatigue tester. The specimen made of jewelry with hole was tested. With that treatment, fatigue strength was 140 MPa. Cavitation pinning both of pulse laser and cavitating jet improved fatigue properties. This work has been partly supported by JSPS Kakenhi. Thank you.